a very warm welcome to tech mining. In this video, you will set up Oracle Apex locally on your own Windows PC with Oracle REST data services under Oracle Database 21C Express Edition. This installation will deploy Oracle REST data services on Apache Tomcat server. These are the five software that you will be installing in this tutorial. Download links for these software are provided in the video description. This is the site from where you have to download Oracle Database 21C Express Edition. Use this link to download the Windows version. Next, download the latest version of Oracle Apex. We downloaded this English language version for this tutorial. On the Oracle REST Data Services site, click this link to download the latest version of ORDS. Download Java from this site. Click this link to download the Windows 64-bit installer. Finally, download Apache Tomcat using this Windows Service Installer link. Execute these steps to first install the Oracle database. Create a new folder. And copy the downloaded database zip file to this new folder. Extract the zip file. Now launch the setup exe file to install the database. Specify a new folder for the database installation. The database has been installed successfully. Now let's move on to install Oracle Apex. Create a new folder named Apex. Copy the downloaded Apex software in this new folder. Extract the zip file. The Apex subfolder contains the software that we are going to install next. You can delete the zip file from this folder. 
To begin with the installation of Oracle Apex, open a command prompt as an administrator. Switch to the extracted Apex software folder. Connect to the database. Get the list of pluggable databases. Alter the session to use the XEPDB as the container. Then execute these commands to start the Apex installation process. This SQL script file provides complete access to the App Builder environment to develop applications. The process must end with this completion message. Now run this script. Running this change password SQL script enables you to create or update your instance administrator account. This script requires that your container is set to XEPDB that we have already set before running the first script. If not, then you might encounter login issue when you try to access Oracle Apex. Unlock and configure the Apex public user account by running these SQL statements. Configure RESTful services using this script. Once configured, the instance administrator can control the availability of the feature. Now, install Java. Now, install Oracle REST Data Services, which was formerly known as the Apex Listener. It allows Apex applications to be deployed without the use of Oracle HTTP Server and Mod PLSQL or the embedded PLSQL Gateway. Make a directory for the ORDS software. Copy the downloaded zip file to the ORDS folder. Extract the zip file. Open a command prompt as an administrator. Connect the database as sysdba. Unlock common public accounts including sys. Remember to lock the sys user when the installation is complete. Also alter session to set container to xepdb1. Ignore the errors.
make a config directory for ORTS, with a log subdirectory. You need to create a script file named orts.bat to install orts. The code is provided in the video description. Make sure that the DB service matches the name of your database. Open a command prompt. Run the orts batch file from its location. Add the ORTS bin directory to your path permanently, and in the current session using these set commands. Finally, install Apache Tomcat. Set port to 4 times 8 Set administrator login credentials. Create i directory under web apps and copy the contents of the Apex Images folder. This is the i directory we just created. Copy all files and folders from the images folder. And paste them in the i directory. Copy orts.war file to the web apps directory. Run tomcat 9w.exe file to include a reference to the dconfig.url flag, to tell orts where to find the orts configuration. Stop and start Tomcat using its icon in the system tray. All is set. Now access Oracle Apex admin page using this URL. Create a workspace.
log into the new workspace. You will be prompted to change password for the admin. And here is your workspace homepage. That's it for now. Stay tuned to have more videos from Tech Mining. Thank you for watching.